Recently I've seen some videos online where people claim that snow is fake. Luckily I happen to have some snow right here. Let's test it. They get some snow like this and then hold a flame to it and it doesn't melt. It even looks like it starts to burn and gets black. It's not dripping at all. What's weird is as I'm holding the flame to it, the volume of the snowball changes. You can see it getting smaller and it blackens, but it's not dripping or melting or anything. So it's like the flame is making the snowball just disappear. So you can see it's changing volume, but no drips are coming off of it at all. So there's not a drop whatsoever coming off of it. It still just looks like a normal snowball basically, but I basically burned away this portion of the snowball. So has the government switched out all the snow for fake snow or is there something else going on here? Well, first let's check something easy. If I melt some snow in a pan, so when I put a snowball on here, you can see that it's starting to melt already. but I don't see any water puddling anywhere. Notice that the water doesn't start puddling up under the snow right away. That's because even though the snow is melting, the water's being wicked up into the air gaps between the ice crystals. So you don't see any melting even though it is melting. You can see it just wicking up into the snowball itself. So it's just becoming slushy. And then once it's wicked it all up, now the liquid can't go anywhere, so now it starts to spill out everywhere. So now it looks like it's melting. But some people say it never even melts when you hold a flame to it for a long time. So could the snow actually be subliming, which means it's changing from a solid directly to a gas, so there never is any liquid. Well, let's put the snow on a scale here and hold a flame to it and see if it gets lighter. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can get this to melt here. So 100.36 grams. Now let's burn the snowball. You can see that the weight doesn't really change. You can clearly see a volume change happening here. So it isn't subliming, it's just slowly melting. No drips of water coming off it whatsoever and you can see the weight stays the same. It actually takes a ton of energy to convert solid water back to liquid water, so a tiny flame actually doesn't provide that much heat to melt a lot of snow. But what about the blackening? Well, that's obviously not the snow burning, it's just the soot from the candle or flame condensing onto the snow. Any cold thing you hold up above the flame will actually get soot on it. So unfortunately, we still have to deal with real snow. Sorry, everyone. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.